This is a mainly Muslim area of the town of Alutgama and it's here last night that deadly clashes took place resulting in the death of three members of the Muslim community who predominate uh, behind me uh, here. They say that the men that were shot were trying to protect their mosque and the women that were sheltering in the mosque from an angry crowd of hardline Buddhists who had come shouting anti-Muslim slogans. Now, there seem to have been clashes and fights and stone throwing between the two sides for two or three hours. Uh, the police uh, are accused of, by the Muslims of not having come, but they say that they couldn't come. They were too busy elsewhere where there were also clashes. But anyway, after midnight, shots were fired. Um, the Muslims say possibly from the police, possibly from the demonstrators, and those three people were killed. And I've got here in my hand one of the bullets that has been found in the street this morning. There are also um, a very large uh, quantity of um, bullet marks in the walls and a lot of blood stains in the street. And just over here, this line has been put up by the police to divide the Muslim area from the ethnically mixed place where the clashes took place uh, right there and you can still see some of the rubble. If you like, this is the latest manifestation of um, ethnic uh, sectarianism that has been peddled mainly by hardline Buddhist Sinhalese revivalist groups uh, and uh, who many experts say are encouraged and given at least tacit assent by the government of Sri Lanka. The government denies any direct role in this kind of sectarian violence but uh, it is widely accused of not doing enough to stop it.